This is your weekend market review for Sunday, March 26, 2023. Let's go. Hey everyone, this is my channel to help investors and traders develop a probability-based mindset to succeed. Also try and keep friends informed of what's going on in the markets and the economy, and also a little real estate content as well. This is Dan Max at EXP Realty, aka The Trading Agent. This is your weekend market review for Sunday, March 26, 2023. Another interesting week in the market. Rather frustrating probably for both sides, bulls and bears. There's a lot to talk about, so grab a coffee, get comfortable, and please take notes because we're going to have to dig in deep here. I think the markets are playing games in position to do things that will probably be potentially a problem because the biggest issue going on right now relates obviously to the banks, the holdings on their balance sheets, their ability to withstand a bank run essentially because that is what's going on because right now people are starting to wake up to the realization that the fractional banking system does not hold their capital as needed and a lot of people are nervous and there's a lot of things going on in the world that potentially i don't know best way to describe it lead to a lot of uncertainty that's the best way to put it out there and the one thing that the market really does not like is uncertainty right because it can price in future and move forward once it knows what's going on and at this point we have a big Fed meeting over the weekend about the banking industry. They can't backstop every single deposit out there, and they can also not absorb all the pain from all the assets that are marked to market worthless, essentially, in my mind. So if you have any questions, please reach out. If you want to join the Discord room, link is in the description below. I posted this on Twitter this morning, and this is, to me, the really biggest problem here. Unless banks are willing to jack up their deposit rates, they eventually have to rein in the size of their loan portfolios, which resulting in the squeeze on economic activity. Other reason, another reason to expect a recession potentially. Well, essentially, if they rein in their borrowing, their loan portfolios, they're going to stop lending. Credit contraction. The big question here then is, the Feds don't want competition for yield. <clears throat> Think, keep that in mind too. Do the Feds want people buying Treasuries that have higher yields than, say, a uh, savings accounts, some of these money market accounts that are paying almost nothing, that becomes a big issue here. And then also too, if they reduce their loan portfolios, well, who wants to buy the trash? Who wants to take the uh, unloading trash that they have? Keep in mind, there's tons of debt out there with low to negative, <laughs> which is crazy, negative yields. That's essentially worthless. Nobody wants that. Inflation is, in their opinion, sustaining. Interest rates are going to be 5 6% going forward now i know the fed fund future says differently but think about <clears throat> ultimately competition for yield this is where it gets dicey where people are going to want to put their money to preserve capital people are losing faith in the system you have the BRICS creating their own currency system you have competition endlessly for your money keep that in mind it's not as simple as it seems when in doubt Define your risk. Be careful because I think you're going to see some volatility pick up as we'll see. Get into the charts. Again, if you have any questions, please follow on Twitter. Consistently trying to keep people updated. Join the Discord room. Get involved. Your education is key. <clears throat> the back to basic videos are very important. We're going to be now probably probably need to watch uh, first and last three business days of the month. Considering that literally starting on Wednesday... That is the case, and keep in mind, the way the market will act for window dressing or actually window undressing potentially as well. I think that's one of the things that can be difficult for people to understand. They're like, what does that mean? Well, I would check out this video. Again, if you're newer, link is description to the Back to Beginner series website, which just literally just takes all of the information, all these videos, lines them up. Keeps it simple, a little description of each. And one of the keys that I have for it is it starts from beginner to more advanced level videos. On that note, <clears throat> let's get into it. Let's check the FUD Fund Futures tool. I'd like to see what they're expecting for the next meeting coming up here. This has been all over the place. It's looking like the next meeting in May, they're going to stand pat. Keep in mind, go back to one week where you were, what was going on. And you can see that, you know, Basically, you've been stuck, but previously a week ago, or a couple weeks ago, you are anticipating a rate hike. So that's changing. Just keep an eye on this. Save this SUDS website if you need it. You can cut it. It's just CMA group, Fed Fund Futures Tools. On that note, let's do it. Bitcoin 
Is it a store of value? Seems to be holding up pretty darn well. <clears throat> holding here, stuck up against the 29, 28,000 level. I personally think if the market gets wiped, these names will pull back. They'll probably present buying opportunities at this point. <sighs> be careful. That's all you can really say. There's no easy answer. People want to be told something that's easy and stick to. And the reality is uncertainty within the markets, the uncertainty within the crypto markets, the uncertainty of what's going to happen in general makes it difficult to say with certainty anything. Oil. We've talked about this going to be volatile, choppy, holding the base. <clears throat> Love it here in the 60s, but the recession grows. Could this just be a dead cat bounce to drop? Keeping on it. Natural gas, as we've talked about, this thing is just oh, wow. some reason, some days. I don't know why Trading View doesn't save my lines, but I think it's dead money. Just keep it as simple as possible. Let's get into the dollar. <clears throat> we talked about it breaking below, potentially the bigger trend line, bouncing back above talked about i think this was wednesday this looked like a little bit of a trap well here you go bouncing dollar bouncing market about to get volatile your guess is good as mine essentially i think it is in my opinion people know i have bets on such trying to give myself time dollar starts ripping will commodities pull back that's the question if you go zoom out i mean i mean this is the thing about the monthly i've said the dollar end might be a monster rip higher this is a big uptrend. Here's your first major pullback. If you can get over the mid 28s, should be a straight ride back to 29. We shall see. Now I know they're trying to print more dollars, but this is the problem. <clears throat> this is like a sickness that's every country in the world is dealing with now. The, there is run on deposits everywhere. People do not trust the banking systems. Fractional banking reserve system I mean, I'm not going to say it has to fail, but <clears throat> it seems like ultimately it would fail if there's ever major complications within the banking system because there's no capital in the bank banking, backing up all the money. You know, you can't go get, when I say money, all your deposits. Go try to pull out $25,000. Good luck. It's not there. They're not going to give it to you. I mean, you can try to withdraw it electronically, but it's, again, trying to get the cash, <clears throat> not there. TLT. We talked about this holding, chopping in this range. It's really big range, 104 to 109. <sighs> Tough to know. I mean, inflation, anchoring in, rates sustain, scary market, deflation, rates should go lower. It's a weird time. Here's the thing. Watch the range. You just don't know. It seems to be holding the 50-day pretty consistently. So if you are watching and trading bonds, that's what I'd be watching. The VIX. Absolutely all over the place, wide and loose, long wicks, ODT, put options, call options, whatever. And and I love to remind people, this, you know, people say, well, the bear market over. No, never seen a bear market bottom with a VIX in the 38s. It's not going to happen. It's just a matter of time before you get more weakness later. It's just, <clears throat> is this the calm before the storm, the eye of the hurricane? I don't know. You, you just don't know. Spy. Chopping around, seems to be holding the 200-day. Wednesday's action, not good. I think you're just bouncing around. You're making lower lows, lower highs. I know people think this probably looks bullish. We'll see. I mean, if you go look at some of the older bear markets, you get these breaks of downtrends to fail later, potentially. And so this is where this gets so difficult. <clears throat> when does the waterfall start? That's the question I ask myself. And do we have to rip higher? to wipe out particular market participants before going lower. This is hard, right? You go look at the weekly, like the, the top is in with the head and shoulders and now you got lower shoulders, not sorry, lower lows, lower highs. Now you're just chopping along. Obviously 380 matters. That's where you, you know, it's game over. I mean, game over like, sorry, hasta la vista, baby. Game over if we break it. But as of right now, <clears throat> you seem to be playing the game playing the game. But let's go look at the individual sectors to see what's going on after we look through the indexes. QQQ, this is looking pretty toppish. These long wicks, decent volume. It's been leading up, caught against what? The top of the VAP zone. Look at this monster. I mean, again, look at all the volume that's probably been sloshing around here since literally last spring. Now what? 
Hmm, do we break out? That's the million dollar question. IWM, we talked about this watch for lagging. This thing is hanging on to dear life at the range lows. If the IWM is lagging, is everything else going to follow at some point? That's the question. And I think you have to use this knowing that time, when, I don't know. But if this breaks, you know well as, as well as anybody else that there's there's room to go. There's room to go. I don't need. I guess I don't need to show the bigger candle. You know the bigger time frames. You just know. You should be you or you should know. Zoom out. Dia we talked about this is not good when the Dow breaks the December lows. The following year it is still below it. That looks weak to me. It's just a matter of when, not if. All right, gold. This is where it gets interesting. I like gold long term. Don't get my words twisted. But I will say short term, I'm a little nervous. The spec positioning is huge. Everybody's long gold. Has, can gold drop when the market drops? Absolutely. Can the market pull the baby, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater? Absolutely. Stuff that shouldn't go down, go down. Well, again, if there's liquidations, redemptions, money being pulled out, sometimes everything gets taken with it because they'll sell strength even too. Think about if you have to raise capital, you sell everything potentially, right? That is always a possibility. Again, if you've been following for long periods of time, you know I'm. Um, I believe this is a big monster cup and handle. Here's your head and shoulders bottom on the monthly. Just a matter of time. Not if, when, but I wouldn't be surprised if you get the pullback. Here you go now. It's starting to get pretty wide and loose up here. And I said I'm worried about these candles up here being high volume at the highs. Could they be distributive near term? Again, I'm not chasing gold. I don't, again, well, I've always owned gold. If you been following the channel hopefully you own precious metals trading gold's different right <clears throat> personally i'm not long gold as a trade some people might think that i missed it or crazy no we traded it but did not catch the whole move and that's the nature of the beast just keep an eye because you're at the old levels right you're at 2000 that mat level matters i'd prefer it to back up then go silver gaps up Hits the 0.618, fills the gap, met with sellers. Keep an eye on it. GDX, back up here against the range highs. Fills the gap on Friday. <clears throat> Wicking, uh, it's tough to know. I mean, you could, you know, you can draw another little box here if not, but you can just tell it, it filled the gap. My biggest problem with the miners and this stuff is not that I don't believe in long-term value in them. If there's credit crunches and there's market volatility, this stuff will get hurt. It doesn't it, it doesn't survive. I mean, look here you go. Here's COVID, here's 2008, some of that action. If the Fed's pivoting, yes, but the Fed hasn't pivoted. Pivoting, pivoted different. We're in the show me the money zone. This area matters. So, just keep an eye on it cuz it could back off. I've got a small amount of dust calls as hedges, or not as hedges, but just in case. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. GDXJ. You would think it'd be up more getting stuck in here trying to fill the gap we'll see we'll see i mean i'd please be careful here again with miners they throw the baby out with the bath water if you're not familiar with that saying because that's the truth doesn't matter and remember these are companies that rely upon credit trust and transactions the ability for commerce people to take buy what they're selling when the market freezes up these names sadly get punched pretty hard ag said we're gonna stop producing silver i think it's a good move why not sell reserves in the future at higher prices versus just play this game bang their head against the wall if you go look at the bigger charts here's the monthly i like it down here at some point i just don't know if i want to be early i'd hate for them something bigger to happen near term and they get stuck and have to do some more i don't know devaluing of their company stock AAM pass deal looks like it's going to go through if I remember correctly pass and what was it uh Yamana holding up pretty well uh speaking of deals Newmont they're probably out in the hunt if I remember right chopping here looks okay I mean that candle we'll see this is this candle now is a make or break like the high volume one need to get over it and leave leave the past behind pass speaking of holding up is it breaking the downtrend <clears throat> or is this a trap? This is what's so hard about this name because it can do this crap. It'll just go and then it'll go wham. Again, miners, tough. If you have good cost basis, set your stops, let them ride. If you're short, define your risk. If you're watching, 
be patient. All right, let's get into it. Tech, starting to see cracks in the armor. Wide and loose, a lot of wicks up here. Thought this candle was the top. And then you made another gap and doji. Got close to the upside potential I thought you might be able to get to. But again, look at the monthlies. <clears throat> Left shoulder, complex, right shoulder, 20 month. Keep an eye on it. Month is ending, obviously, soon. <clears throat> it's worth watching. NVIDIA, absolute monster. Wow. A lot of wicks now up here. Getting tired. Been on a straight line move, as we've talked about. The stock has just been an absolute beast. If you got hurt, hopefully you define your risk. If you're just sitting there with puts that are worthless, that's the purpose of taking the taking the losses so that if you need to roll out to time, different strike prices, wait. You can't just sit there and hold on to the grenade because it will blow up in your face at some point. The losses happen if you think you're always going to be right. No, you're only as good as your last trade. Just because you're winning the previous trade has nothing to do with your current future trades. Again, trying to anticipate the market is the goal. You're not always going to be right. But now looking at AMD, you zoom back. Check out the month, the weekly. <clears throat> I mean, you've got a lot of areas. You know, you got over that 618, but you've got a whole host of what, I mean, you can see the candles here in the 270s, 280s. Just keep an eye on it. Be careful, be smart. Intel, been kind of following this one because this has been leading up off the lows and then hit the 200 day, held the 150 day cross. Little wick on the Friday action. Keep an eye on it. Taiwan Semi, you would think this this name has been nuts. Thought the Wednesday candle, oh, then you have a doji. Now you've got potentially the top. That looks like a topping mechanism, but is it going to play this stupid game where it chops? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. This seems like a trap in my opinion. Again, if you zoom out, people I wish people would start on the monthlies. I know the daily is easy. <clears throat> but here you go. You've got massive, 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 massive resistance around here. Just keep an eye on it. I don't think it's going to break out, personally. The chips story is just... <laughs> So inundated, it's insane. There's just gonna be such a glut. SMH hits the point six one eight. Xavier SM, if he's around, if he's listening, he was the one who said two sixty. I remember that. No, well, he was dead on right. He was dead on right. Credit where credits due. That to me looks like the top. <clears throat> now we're chopping around again. When in doubt, zoom out. Here's the weekly. You are in a zone. This is gonna be an incredibly difficult zone to break out over in my opinion, especially with what's going on, the economic outlook. Whew. All right, more tech. Adobe's I held up pretty well. Bopped on its earnings. Chopping now. You got a multi-day range. Keeping on 375 level. Apple, been a beast. Still think that candle is the top from Wednesday. Chopping around. Do we have to go after the trend? Approximately? I don't know. Well, remember how we always say, don't bring a ruler to trading, but could we hit the, be hitting the trend? Right? Could this be the trend here? No, oh, sorry, it didn't. Ugh. Come on, there we go. Let's try this one more time. For schnitz and giggles, you know we like to have like this little box <clears throat> box channel as well. It's gonna be hard to get over 160s in my opinion. Apple is now a bank. That's how they're not going to be, <clears throat> in my opinion murdering it out there doing so great with revenues i think it's just people are anticipating them holding their cash but the question becomes is where is apple's cash is it safe well, you only hope amazon hope everyone's cash is safe eventually but that's a problem with risk it's not guaranteed returns and rewards amazon stuck up against the 99 100 level keep an eye on it crm bounce back up chopping Chopping, not really much here other than this range. Keep an eye on it. Guggenheim, they're, I mean, barred in all of their AI stuff. It's a nice bounce. Again, if this is the channel, give it a little space. Watch the point six one eight. Still think that's the top. Meta, <clears throat> kill TikTok. They're, I mean, they're getting their lunch eaten. 
Well, can you make new highs? It's trying to. Feels like the highs now. I know the volume's a little lighter, but this feels like a trap. We'll see what happens again. If you zoom out, you know, on the monthly, you're in massive resistance area. Keep an eye on it. That's all I can really say. Keep an eye on it. Be safe. Be thoughtful. Microsoft. AI, everybody. AI, AI, oh. Keep an eye on it. Hitting the channel high. That feels like the top right there with the blow off here. Again, when you zoom out, you can see the 20 month. I don't need to show you every time, but man, come on. Why is this not? Pull this across. There you go. This area matters. It's a nice reference to short against with tight stops. That's all you can really say. If you don't want to use tight stops, well, good luck. NDAQ, we talked about this being absolute trash. Chopping around. <clears throat> Tech is not the future of the trading indexes, and in that sense, the volume and the cash is not going to be all in tech at some point it's all going to be commodities as i've warned folks be careful be thoughtful be safe 20 month 20 day i mean this thing broke broke out of the channel lower lows lower highs monthly looks like poo that's all i can really say micro strategy chopping 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 hits the whatever that 300 level 280 chopping hard to know netflix and chill supposedly they're doing really well convenience Conveniently, they acknowledge such after chopping. Here you go, back into this 330 level is real important. Don't have a position on it. It's been lagging, but then caught up as of the last couple weeks. Watch the zones. I personally think, again, these companies are just they're hemorrhaging in the battle of endless free content that's either free, again, self, like this kind of content, versus content that is showed on so many different pl streaming platforms it, it's hard to know who wins that battle <clears throat> roblox stuck in the, f the blue box tesla we talked about dead cat bounce back up into the blue zone holding the 20 day better hold or this is a now a lower high keep that in your watch list materials letter x chopping 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 all these material names kind of look similar just chopping look like they're basing New core, same thing. Chopping, chopping, chopping. I like these names long term. Caterpillar. What an epic short up here. And then the retest. Did not get the fill of the box. That's why technical analysis is not perfect. It's flawed. Watch the 200 day. Again, all these names just worth watching. Valet, if the dollar's peaking or rising, Valet starting to drop. Not surprised. Watch the 200 day. I mean, it's hanging on for dear life. Arrow, copper. I'm going to talk, keep talking about copper supplies being short. Well, keep an eye on this action. Needs to get over this blue box. Because again, I mean, tight supply. Well, what if demand dumps, right? Like that's the problem here. CCJ, someone talked about going long it. As we've said, my opinion, I mean, I don't think it's just a trading vehicle until you get to prices where I think it just can't go any lower. I'm pointing at it right now. I'm stretching it across. I don't think you will get below 1617 if it does. Gift. CF, we love ag names, but we love for them to come on down. Come on down. They make no sense. <clears throat> You're going to need to eat. Inflation kicks in as it is and sustains. The cost of farming will rise. All the stuff will translate into what? Higher margins, higher profits for these companies. Again, I have some levels that I would love to see here in the 50s. You can see maybe see it better on the weekly. Do we get there? I don't know. That would be awesome sauce. <clears throat> Mosaic. Another company we like, chopping. If it breaks, it's probably going back down again. Somewhere in the mid mid low 30s would be pretty optimal. We'll see if it gets there. There's a lot of a lot of support here in the 31 area. Yeah, anyway, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. NTR, same thing. Come on, pull back. AA, AA Aeron. <clears throat> Watching this one in the sense of again, we believe in aluminum needed for this future growth in the grid. If you want to be more electric, whatever, passing power. I don't know. Maybe you don't. We'll see. Maybe the Tesla coils. Everyone will just pull electricity out of the air. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Either way, you're going to need materials to build this stuff. I like it down here in the mid-30s. But if the market goes, the market might take all the stuff. Remember, think about the VIX. When the VIX explodes, there's no rationale. You can draw lines and charts and have VAT points and all this great technical analysis. And it goes out the absolute window when people freak out. Good old XLF, right? Makes a new low. 
closes right back at support resistance at 31 telling people watch this area if it breaks here's the monthly sayonara ariba dochi whatever hasta luego you better hold 30 level because then it gets ugly and again we can talk about the banks all until we're blowing the teeth but let's just watch the action jp morgan gaps down 200 day not bullish morgan stanley making lower lows nice gap down wall and wick again they're just holding on for dear life goldman sachs chopping 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 that does not look good xbi talked about in the mid and nine or sorry like mid low 90s is a problem that's taking lower lows again there's certain sectors that do not look strong now a lot of people will just point to one and it's like i don't know iyt you know we like to look at the transports holding on for dear life has to hold this 213 212 whatever you want to call it area just throwing that in there because people like to see it solar wow all over the place choppy sloppy look at that wick coming back that's got to be i mean again you know i know it's low volume but that that has to be a trap let's just leave the candle let's call the candle what it is it looks very trappish <clears throat> long wick closes back now it's holding the lows watch the 72s enph all these names they got some pops another test not looking that good sedgerton pop flop same thing 20 day good old first solaire playing games long wick i mean that's not the trap retest top i don't know then i guess the market's going higher that's all you can really say about that if it's not then that is absolutely the top 1000 percent but again, depends on the market, right? I'll end it with the oil names, oil gas. Actually, let's go to HYG. I mean, again, I'm, I love to show the corporate debt because this is, you know, obviously in a stuck zone. Needs to hold this lower bound. This corporate debt is a problem, right? <clears throat> you don't want, not corporate debt, sorry, this is high yielding corporate debt, meaning junk bonds. What if the market's comfortable, then this stuff should hold and people will want high yield, right? We'll see. Keep an eye on it, right? Oil now. It's the gas. It's the oil. Makes new lows. Trend line. Again, I this is it, I like this stuff long term. Again, you can't undersupply yourself and expect to go green. It doesn't really work like that. You can't force green because you got to build infrastructure. You're still going to have people relying on gas engines. And again, is 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 electric the only solution? It's hard to know. Like this game, a lot of people like to play it. I'd prefer just to. Again, at low prices, it's going to make sense. Natural gas, UNG, hopefully you laid off of this thing. XOP, we talked about the mid-120s, filling the gap, chopping. If it takes out the lows, watch out below. Again, if you're looking at the weekly, and this is why we love to pull up weeklies, the channel broke. I mean, again, don't be perfect, but now you're at the 100 month week and some references. If it breaks, it folds. It's going to show you economic weakness, in my opinion. Exxon Mobil, we talked about people shorting this at the highs. If they did, now it's chopping around. I mean, it doesn't look good. That was the breakout on the monthly failed 20 day, 20 day. Now chopping, keep an eye on it. Occidental. <sighs> hmm. Chopping at lows. We know Buffett's buying more. Uh, PX Dizzle, PX Diddy, chopping. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Really not much to say about some of these names. EQT, same thing. Chopping, 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 chopping. Flex, LNG. We talked about this one being one of the stronger ones at some point. That's a bounce and flop. All right. At this point, just please be careful. Define your risk. If you have options that expire in a couple weeks and you're not comfortable and they're bleeding out, the best thing to do is probably take some profit. I mean, probably not profit. Take the loss and roll it into different options, but be patient. You know, just be patient. This is where it gets really difficult because time is the hardest part. And that's why I always tell people 10% of your account should be options. The other 90 cents stock. And no, I know it's not sexy. It's not exciting, but here's the problem with options. When you're right, everything's great. And that's why we tell you to take profits, pull money out, pay yourself, run this like a business, and then hopefully grow a stock account. Because again, you can't be worried about when you're right. It's what happens when you're wrong right like i mean you can't obviously worry but my point is like you have to be very thoughtful of what happens when you're wrong because if you're wrong big with options accounts that's how you blow out i've done that a billion times which feels like and it's every time i learn 
all right, well, there's a reason why it's small. There's a reason why you, you know it's inherently much more risky and you need to give yourself time. Now, a lot of people don't like to swing trade options, which I get it. I get it. But if you swing trade financial options, hopefully you made multiple hundreds of percentages easy in just swing trading. Now, can tech line up to do the same thing? I hope so. I wish so. And I mean so, thinking so. I have the bets on the table myself. And I've warned people. There's no guarantees, though. If this frustrates you and you're looking for certainty, then you need to stop trading. It's a probability-based game. If you cannot wrap your head around the fact that you're going to be wrong at times and you're going to lose money, you shouldn't trade. I just tell that people all the time. If you're looking for certainty, then go buy fixed income stuff. You know, Go look for fixed yields, right? But if you're going to trade the markets, you got to understand bear markets are what? Traders markets until the last leg. And that last leg is a straight puke down. And when that straight puke down happens, then you can buy stocks hopefully for the long term. But it's still, it's going to be volatile. All right, if you have any questions, especially if real estate questions, please reach out. I think, there, if the, again, if the market tumbles and yields go lower, rates go lower, whatever, there might be opportunities to buy houses at incredible discounts. We'll see. Again, housing is going to be a tough battle because there are shortages. But depending on where you're at, think about the states that people are exiting. Well, those prices are going to be dropping. The states that they're moving to probably going to hold up pretty well. So if you have a question, comments, let me know. Again, I have my targets on certain states. Know what I think on this. Have my information. So maybe I can help you out. Because again, the problem is, is cash will be trash. They are making cash worthless in the sense of you better have assets to back up your own bank. You're almost, you're becoming, you have to think of yourself as your own bank. Because again, what good is cash? It's good for transaction near term, but what are you going to be your assets that hedge devaluation of the dollar, devaluation of all currencies, right? You've got to own assets. Now I'm not saying go hundred percent invested in say assets, but you're going to need obviously cash, maybe some Bitcoin, maybe some transactional coins, but you're going to need to own assets because your cash values are going to get destroyed at, at and over time with inflation. So let me know how I can help. I appreciate you guys. Talk to you guys and gals later. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, stop by the Discord room. A link is in the description below. Also, if you'd like to help support more free content, the PayPal link is in the description as well. I appreciate your continued support of the channel.